Hello, welcome. Uh, in this problem, we're going to work together right away. I mean, you could pause it and read it, but there's a lot to the problem. So I guess if you want to pause different parts of it, you can see it. There it is and try it out. But let's just get started on together. Ava designed an experiment to determine the effect of a new energy drink on a group of 20 volunteer students. All right, so I'm just keeping track of what's going on. I'm going to underline some, some things that I see so I don't get confused. So there's a new energy drink. Okay. And you're looking at how it impacts 20 students. 10 students were randomly selected to form group one while the remaining 10 group two. So there's two groups, each had 10 students. Each student in group one drank one energy drink. So I'm gonna label that so I don't get confused myself. This is the energy drink group, energy drink. And, the, and what's the other group doing? And each student in group two drank one cola drink. All right, so this is my cola drink. Okay, 10 minutes later, 10 minutes later passes and what happens? Their times are recorded for reading the same paragraph of a novel. The result of the experiment are shown below, okay? So these are their time, how long it took them to read the novel after 10 minutes, and these are the mean results down there. Ava thinks drinking energy drinks make students read faster because the time is lower here. Lower time means it took less time to read, so they're reading faster, okay? Using information from the experimental design or the results, Explain why Ava's hypothesis may be incorrect. All right, well, as for the results, I guess you could talk about the fact that this is a really close time and is not far enough to be significant. But I think it makes sense here. We're not going to measure the that significance. Let's just talk about the design. I mean, if you look at this, what are some problems you can think of? The first thing I, I might point out is that the group size is too small. So the group size is too small that's a problem right why is it a problem well if the group size is too small um, this could lead to all kinds of problems for example if you only have 10 people you could have selected people who have enough better readers in it that is their reading ability that could be impacting the time and not the soda so the group size is too small so if some if enough say, say this so if enough group members, group one members are faster readers, right, that would lower their time, their mean time. Now, on the regions in general, I try to not leave it open and I try to be specific. So I said, so if enough group one members are faster readers, that will lower their time. For example, even just two members, right? For example. Now, if I had more room, I would show it, right? I would say, like, look, I take my two fastest readers here, which are these two right here. And if you have the time, show them. If these two were at, let's say, 17 or 18, how would that impact this mean and how would it raise the number? You can do that relatively quickly on the calculator. Okay, you can make, uh, you can go to, here, I'll just show you real quick, you can go to stat, edit, and under, let's say you wanna clear out a list, you hit clear, enter. You can start entering these times, 17.4, enter, 18.1, enter. You can be specific with numbers, and then you go back to stat and calc, and you can get those one variable stats for whatever list you're looking at here. Right, you get the mean, you get the sum, you get standard deviation. So you can comment on all those numbers. You can talk about the standard deviation, whatever you want to. In this case, I would just, I would keep it general because it's just the first part of the problem. And you could also comment on the number of variables here. Think about it, you're talking about the, the, even though they're reading the same paragraph of a novel, reading the same paragraph, not every person responds the same way to soda and an energy drink. So that could be a variable as well. And because the group size is too small, if you, if you have several members that respond uh, differently to soda, that could impact your results. So you could say that as well in addition to what I said right here. But all of the issues are basically coming up because the groups are too small. Another issue, of course, is the time. How did she pick 10 minutes later? Where does that come from? 
So that's something to think about as well. But I would stick to the group size. That's generally something you could use to explain why an experiment setup is incorrect. All right, so here, what does she do? She randomly mixes 20 reading times, splits them into two groups of 10, and simulates the difference of the means 232 times. All right, well, we they say here on the x-axis, we've got our differences, group one minus group two. So in her experiment, right, in the original experiment, we found that the difference of group one was, I think the mean was, what was it? 17.7 and the group uh, group 2 was 19.1 so if we subtract those we get um, negative 1.4 so let me actually write a complete sentence there so in her experiment she found um, differences of, and then you show it, 17.7 minus 19.1 equals negative 1.4. And negative 1.4 was not unusual, unusual in her simulation. Let me, let me try to explain that. And then we'll we can add a little bit more to this. So the idea is that you've got negative 1.6 I think that, I think that this tick mark is negative 1.6 negative 1.5 negative 1.4 so he, so it's about There this line that's about negative 1.4 And if we count this up we get 1 plus 2 so this is these are three results four results 5 plus 5 5 more It is 10 I'm just counting these up these are 2, 12, 14, plus 3 is 17, 18, 19, 20, so a little over 20, let's say 22, 23. Okay, so, so, so here, so, um, this is, this from here to here, it's, it's about 10%. That's a lot, right? And what we're showing is that the differences of negative 1.4 or, or less, right? Or smaller numbers, right? So if you had, let's say, 20 or 21, those things are happening uh, about 10% of the time. So you could expect, just by randomly shuffling all the, these numbers around and simulating it, that you can get a difference of negative 1.4, negative 1.5, negative 1.6, about 10% of the time, just from randomly moving them around. It's not unheard of. So it's not that unusual that. Uh, that you can get a difference of negative 1.4. You can see it popping up in this graph, and in fact, differences of that, or even less, which is more, you know, more of a difference, is just happening from random rearrangements. So, you know, the the more these are happening just from randomness, the less significant the experiment really was. So you, we can add to that. Um, it's not unusual in her simulation. Oh, and I knew it was 10%. By the way, sorry. Because it's about 23 out of 232 reading times. So, you know, 23 divided by 232 is about 10%. And the idea is that uh, 23 times in these, in these random simulations, you got differences of that or more. So the difference that you found can't be that significant, or probably isn't that significant because it's happening from randomness. Okay, so you can say um, since negative 1.4 or less occurs 10% of the time, let's say in the simulation, the time in the simulation, the difference is not that significant, right? The, the difference is the difference of, one, of negative 1.4 difference of negative 1.4 is not that unusual. It's happening, you can see it happen. You, you would expect, in other words, just by randomly picking people to get a difference like that. That's why you run these kind of simulations to see, would I get that kind of a difference of negative 1.4 just by randomly picking people? That's what you're trying to capture here. Now, if you now, there's no exact number here that I am aware of. If you're aware of it, please let me know. That tells you it's significant or not. But if you got a difference of let's say four seconds, right, something down here, 
and randomness didn't create that at all. It didn't happen at all, right? Maybe it's not possible to get negative four with these numbers here. Maybe this is one of the lowest or close to the lowest. I haven't played with the numbers enough to figure out if you even can get negative four, but let's pretend that you did get negative four. If your result was negative four, and that's just not happening at all in the random simulations, it's just not happening, then what happened for you is unusual, right? It's not really something you're gonna expect from randomness. So maybe your experiment means something. That's, that's the idea here. So I hope that helped. Thank you.